Now I'm gonna make one of my favorite drinks for you, the Manhattan. Uh, the Manhattan's a very simple cocktail, same proportions or similar proportions really to a martini. The most important thing that I see when I go to order Manhattans in different bars is the bitters. It has to have Angostura bitters. So to start out, take my chilled mixing glass. I'm gonna add two dashes of the bitters. I'm gonna add one ounce of sweet vermouth. And I'm gonna add two ounces of rye whiskey. Now over the course of the years, bourbon has been used, Canadian whiskey has been used. The classic was rye whiskey, Kentucky straight rye whiskey, or back in the 19th century, Maryland rye whiskey, uh, or Pennsylvania rye whiskey. The rye whiskey is gonna give it some depth and some spice. If you make it with bourbon, it's a little bit sweeter. And if you make it with Canadian whiskey, it's, it's a lot lighter. Um, that being said, they're all good. Uh, for me, I like a proportion of two parts whiskey to one part vermouth, a couple dashes of bitters. This is a stir drink. Keep in mind that when you're deciding whether you're gonna shake or stir a drink, the logic behind it is that if it's just spirits or vermouth or wine, it's already clear and when you stir it, you're gonna maintain the clarity of it. If you have lime juice or if you have eggs or if you have cream and it's already a cloudy drink, that's usually the decision maker between whether we stir or shake. Now in Manhattan, because in this case I've chosen a, a pretty strong rye at 100 proof, I'm going to stir it a little longer than I would a martini. So normally I stir between 7, 9, 10 seconds. I'm going to stir this for about 12. I'm going to give it a taste to make sure that I have the right balance, which I do. Um, the difference also between shaken and stirred drinks is that this is called the julep strainer. It fits right on top of my mixing glass. If I were shaking this drink, I would use the Hawthorne strainer on top of the Meadow Boston. This can be, as you can see, it's shaped, so my hand goes right here, so I'm gonna hold it like that. I'm gonna have my chilled glass out in front, and I'm just gonna use the strainer to hold the ice at bay while I pour delicately into my glass. The Manhattan can be garnished with an orange twist or a cherries. It's usually always cherries, and I prefer cherries. The cherries that we use here, they're not the bright neon red fake maraschino ones that you get in a jar. These are Kirsch branded Morello cherries from France. Another variety that I like a lot are the uh, maraschino cherries from Italy that are macerated in sugar and maraschino liqueur. Whether you use the Kirsch branded Morello cherries or the maraschino cherries from Italy, you want to use fresh ingredients with your drinks. Here's your Manhattan.